What's up guys, welcome to the channel where I help you out in Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you how you can get unlimited experience. Using this method you can pretty easily get around 1000 experience per minute. As you can see my character is level 284 and has all the perks and is completely maxed out. While this is a fun experiment you can do, it will ruin your game experience, obviously. It's up to you whether or not you want to mess about with it though. Just please don't whinge at those that do. It's your game, play it how you want. Now before I tell you how to do this glitch, let me make something very clear to you. Yes, this glitch will get patched, but of course on Xbox One, PS4 or PC, you can very easily just delete the patch files and play the game offline, if you still want to do this glitch. So please don't spam me saying that this has been patched. Just use Google and find out how to remove those patch files. Or I might even update the guide's description and show you how to do it. Anyway, now let me show you how to do this. First off, you must have joined the Brotherhood of Steel. If you don't know how to do that, check out the guide in the description. Very early on in the game, you will be invited to a giant airship. It's located here on the map. Once here, you can start the glitch. Firstly, head inside the blimp. Once inside, just go up the ladder. Adjusting internal balance at pressure. Now walk along this corridor and you will discover this scientist. After you've introduced yourself to the crew, you can speak to him about escorting like a scribe. It's actually a side quest that you can repeatedly do. Right. Or perhaps you were interested in aiding a research patrol. I can handle another patrol. Good. Good. There's too much information out there, and it mustn't go to waste. Meet the scribe just outside the Pridwin. You will escort and protect her while she collects data, and, most importantly, bring her back in one piece. Just accept the quest and then head back down the ladder into the blimp's main deck. For this next part, we're going to require a ranged weapon that's quite accurate. I suggest either a normal sniper rifle or an energy weapon sniper. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can easily find one at the start of the game. You're going to come to the end of the deck right here. If you stand at the end of the catwalk, on the left here, and then just go stealth. Make sure you do go stealth you'll be able to see the scribe that you're supposed to be escorting. Make sure that you're hidden. Nobody should be close to you, so you should be fine. Now just kill the scribe. After each shot, make sure you wait a second until you become hidden again. You don't want to get spotted killing the Brotherhood, otherwise they'll try and kill you back. Once he's dead, just head back to the scientist. I do suggest saving every few runs, just in case you mess it up. So long as you're not careless and don't get spotted, this glitch can be done many, many, many times, as you can tell. Just talk to the scientist and tell him the scribe was killed. Rather humorously, he will give you 100 caps, and depending on your intelligence, you will get 390 experience. Now just ask to help with escorting the scribe again. Just do the exact same thing again and again and he will keep giving you caps and experience. I highly suggest that if you don't have intelligence 10 yet, you level it up first. Because intelligence increases how fast you get experience. This means that it makes you level up faster. So it's a no-brainer to have high intelligence if that's what you want to do. Anyway guys, I do hope that you found this video helpful. Make sure you subscribe for more guides like this one. And on a final note, let me just say that this is a great game. And while this glitch is good fun to mess about with, I suggest not doing it on your main character because it may diminish your enjoyment of the game. Or at least it would for me. But it's good fun to muck about with. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Do leave a like if this video was helpful. It was originally posted on Reddit, but a lot of people were asking me how you did it. So here you go, hope it helped, and I shall see you in the next guide.